This is a tutorial video on installing a panel on a decor refrigerator or freezer column. So this is a, a 36 inch and it has a single panel on the front. Uh, this method should be similar for the French door with drawer on the bottom as well. Uh, it's the same basic brackets and everything. Uh, obviously just a few more steps. So the first thing that we need to do is to make sure that the appliance is set properly. This dimension um, needs to be an inch and seven sixteenths from the face of this metal strip to the edge. And you can see we're an inch and a half right now. So that means that the fridge has to push back. We'll check all the corners uh, and make sure that it's pushed back to an inch and seven sixteenths. In order to remove this strip to access the screws on the left and the right, you have to open up the door and you need to get something behind here and it pops out that way. So I'll use like a shim against here so it doesn't get scratched and a pry bar to stick in there and pop it out. And once you get one in started, it will just uh, pull out. So you do have to pry on it pretty good and it's gonna be a pretty good pop. So I'll wedge the shim in there. Now I took my little pry bar and uh, made sure that the shim was on the face of this so that the pry bar was touching it and not scratching up this surface and just push and it pops loose. So. There's some double stick tape on the back of this is why it's really hard to pull it loose. And there's all the screws that are accessible. So we're gonna take all of those out, adjust the fridge back and put them all back in. Okay, so I've got this adjusted. My distance uh, to the face of this little flange is an inch and 13 sixteenths and it's an inch and 11 sixteenths once you put the little uh, trim piece back on there. I just replaced these with some of our three quarter inch square drive screws just to make it easier. And now we'll work on the door. I won't be put this trim piece back on until um, after we get the door hung just in case we need to make another adjustment. So this box uh, is what you will need for uh, the installation kit. And inside of it, there is a trim piece that goes on the bottom. There is also these brackets that mount on the back of the panel. There is these instructions, which you don't need, and also a template, which also can go in the trash. Now to determine the height of the bracket on the panel, um, we're not gonna use the template because the template is contingent on the fridge being set properly in the opening. In this case, this one is pushed up tight to the bottom cabinet, but a couple that I already did here in this room were sitting down about three quarters of an inch low. And so um, if that's the case and it was a French door drawer refrigerator that needed to line up with some adjacent cabinets, the fridge would have to be lifted. But in this case, because it's a single panel, we have plenty of up and down adjustment, but the template just won't work. So we'll need to measure it manually. And we need to start by removing this gray piece. There are four screws, two right here and two right here on these two brackets. And that will allow us to remove this trim piece. The wiring will still be connected. So we have to deal with that while we are installing the panel because we have to get to screws uh, going through this hole and this hole and also this way. And once the panel is on, you have to access it from the backside. So we'll take this off, hook one of the uh, mounting plates on here and then get measurements of where to mount it on our panel. So now that the screws are out, there's a little tab that goes over this little circular thing that has to pop loose. And there's also one on this side that also needs to pop up over it that gets that free so see the wiring is still connected here and on the refrigerators there's also sometimes another wire that goes down right there that kind of gets in the way so now this is loose and we can access these brackets from the back side as needed so we'll now take one of these brackets and we are just going to hook it on the bolts here and right there, making sure it's kind of centered. 
And then we're gonna take two nuts and screw it on top so we can get an accurate measurement. Just snug that up. And on this one, we're gonna have to kind of move this out of the way in order to get to this nut. Snug that up there as well. So and the next important thing to do is to make sure that this little piece is about an eighth inch above this. So if you can see, there needs to be a gap right here between the bottom of this little flange and this metal piece so that when we have the panel on there, if the panel needs to adjust down, we have some playroom. Sometimes they're up high enough, sometimes they're maxed all the way down. In this case, this was maxed down. So we wanna make sure that there is a gap, which we do by adjusting that screw right there. Then we'll snug that nut back down. And we'll do the same thing on this side. So raise that up and now, We'll take a measurement from the top of that bracket to the bottom of the upper cabinet on each side. So five and an eighth right there. And on this side, I'm five and a quarter. So to make it easier on myself, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this a little bit more so that it's more parallel. So I'm gonna come up Another 16th here. I'm gonna actually drop this a 16th so that we're kind of running parallel to that top cabinet. So now I am five and three sixteenths. Five and three sixteenths. So we want an eighth inch gap between here, the, the panel. So if I'm five and three sixteenths between here and here, that means I need to make a mark that represents the top of this bracket at five and one sixteenth from the top of my panel. So I've already got my panel laid out. I've attached the hardware. Now this is gonna be the bottom of the panel here, and this is the top. So I'll just make two marks at five and one sixteenth line the bracket up with that centered left and right on the panel and screw the bracket down. So the holes that we want to drill uh, in this case, because it's not a uh, like an inset panel, you have to be super careful with screw length if this was not a solid panel. Um, so, and we can maybe only attach it on the edges, but in this case we can attach it in several places since we have bolts that are mounting here I'm gonna put a screw in these four holes here. I'm gonna go on and pop two here on the very end on these four holes for this side and then two on the end over here as well. Now you can either pre-drill these holes a little bit or in this case I have this little spring punch that's sharp on this end that I just pop on the center of each one of these holes and that'll make it really easy to screw this on right where it needs to go without it moving around. Now we're gonna open this door to about here. We have to take this loose, kind of let it hang like that so that now we can bring that panel in and we're gonna hook it on these two bolts right here. So I've got it hooked on the two bolts here and here. Now, don't forget to put this back up there in order to be able to shut the door a little bit. It's, yeah, it's super annoying. And here we go, just wanna make sure it's close before we attach the bottom bracket. So this side, is touching down here. I'm pretty good centered this way. So I'm gonna probably raise this right side a little bit uh, or lower this one in order to get the panel to swing like this. So for this bottom bracket, I found that the easiest way 
is to not try to mount it until after this is on and you get the panel somewhat adjusted and then it fits under here just like so so it goes behind this hinge plate right here and um, just like this and then we'll take a bolt and put it in that hole there and here to kind of hold it in place okay so I've got the two bolts in here and this is just loose right now now what I want to do you see this little bracket there's another bolt that has to go through this hole and it needs to be able to hit this little flange so this is one of the reasons we wanted to push uh, kind of adjust the panel before we put this on because this really has to put all the way up tight see the bolt is tight to the top of its hole there and just kind of center it left and right and now we can run screws into the back of this panel to mount this plate to it so just push it up tight and run a few screws in there to hold that we'll put the screws in the same location that we did the top bracket okay so i've got all the screws in and now we have to put the bolts in so do one here on this edge and then there should be two here this is the first one that we put in and then the second one goes right next to it and these two kind of oppose each other so that around the back side they push one pulls this plate in and one pushes against it so you can adjust the face in and out so if i want to push the face out I would tighten this screw down and loosen this one. If I want to pull the face in, I would loosen this screw and tighten this one and it will pull it in. And we'll do that same thing over here on this side. Screw here, here and here, and then this screw going this way and this way can adjust, loosen or tighten to move the panel back and forth like this. Okay, so I've got all the bolts in here. Um, the nuts that we put on top of this, I don't even worry about putting those back on because there's so many screws locking this into place. It's not going anywhere. And we're also going to screw the panel on on the side right here. So um, sometimes when you're putting this screw in here, trying to pull the panel this way, it gets hung on the edge of that washer. So I might have to take my screwdriver and pop it to get it to get over the lip of that washer to be able to move in. But now we'll just open and shut the door using all these adjustments to get everything flush on the face and even reveals all the way around. So I have everything about how I want it. Um, equal reveals left and right at the top and down the side. I've got it pretty well at the bottom and the top um, pulled in. I couldn't really get this to pull in anymore, but now this is where we attach the sides and we can alleviate that a little bit. So see how there's a gap between this bracket and this. The next thing we need to do is loosen the screws on this bracket and push the bracket forward until it either touches the door if it's flush. So right down here, the door is almost flush. So we're going to be just shy of touching the door. And up here, we're sticking out about a 16th or so. So when I screw this bracket back on, I'm gonna leave a 16th gap. Then when I run a screw in, it'll pull that in tight because there's some flex in the front of this panel because there's a big piece of foam on the face of this door that allows it to flex a little bit. So we'll do that on each side. And when you're doing the hinge side, um, you're gonna have to use an offset um, screwdriver, uh, offset in your screwdriver like this to be able to reach in there and access uh, those screws on the side. So everything is adjusted nice and flush here now on both sides. And in order to get this side to flush up, I did have to add a couple shims back here. So this probably should have been a little bit farther forward, 
but this side adjusts it out nicely. So whatever that means. Um, but if you need to use some look, few shims, because I've got this bracket pushed as far forward as it will go. So now we have to put on this trim piece at the bottom and that's going to go just like this. And we're going to put two screws in those holes, which are in this little bag. So two of these. And in this bag, there's two little caps right here that will cover those screw holes and we'll just tap those in with a rubber mallet. So this little cap, just like that, and a couple little taps. Nice, nice and flush. One thing that I almost forgot is these four screws have to go in to reattach this top bracket right there. So there's two holes in that bracket and two holes, where is it? In this bracket, down, there it is, down there. So put in those four screws with a long bit. So the last thing that we'll need to do is install the trim pieces back on here and also back uh, install the trim pieces on the fridge. So these just slide in like so and you can use a, like a block and a hammer or a rubber mallet to tap that in on this side and on that side. All right, this panel is done. The only thing we have left to do is put a piece of toe kick under here. Unlike the Sub-Zeros, uh, they do not come with any magnets, so we've got to come up with some type of magnet to get the toe kick to stick on there because it needs to be removable. If the fridge ever has to come out, you have to be able to get to the screws. We can't just glue something in there. Um, these strips right here are popped on just using a rubber mallet. Sometimes I'll even use, a, use some quick clamps here to squeeze until it snaps on. This side, you can't use clamps, but uh, you can use like a rubber mallet and a block like so to get that to work. So, all right, that is a wrap.